Hi, I'm Tafik Al Kadri. This is an Engineering Manufacturing Processes video. Do you ever wonder why wrenches have drop forges inscribed on the handle? The reason why the manufacturer wants you to know that the tool is drop forged is because this tells you something about the strength and durability of the tool. From this video, you should get a better understanding of the manufacturing process called forging. Our group is going to create a mock example of die forging using the simple everyday things our group found around the house. But first, here's some interesting history on die forging. In the feudal times of ancient Japan, noble warriors known as samurai were charged with the governorship of the nation and protection of its people. Bound by a strict code of ethics known as Bushido, these fierce warriors served their masters faithfully in times of both war and peace. The mark of the samurai was traditionally a pair of finely crafted swords. Each blade was forged by a skilled swordsmith. Forging is the oldest known metalworking process. Forging was done historically by a smith using a hammer and an anvil. And though the use of water power in the production and working of iron dates to the 12th century, the hammer and the anvil are not obsolete. Some of the different forging processes include drop forging, which involves hammering hot metal into dyes, press forging. Instead of forcing hot metal into a die with a hammer blow, it is pressed into the die with hydraulic pressure. Roll forging. The hot metal is pressed between two rollers. Cold forging. For smaller pieces, the metal can be pressed into the die without heating it significantly ahead of time. The blank in an easily produced shape like a broad or brick is heated and placed on the bottom part of the die. The top part of the die then drops onto the piece which gives the forge its name. The force of impact causes the heated metal to flow into the shape of the die. With some metal squirting out of the thin seams between the dies, this thin metal is called flash and is machined away in, in further processes. Gradually forms heated metal by singular or repeated blows in a sequence of individual or multi-stage die cavities. Produces a parting line and flash on the workpiece. Flash must be removed. Typically requires machining to obtain dimensional tolerances and good service finish. Some strengths of forging are Impression die forging can achieve close tolerances. Good mechanical properties such as yield strength, ductility and toughness. Reliability, used for critical parts. No liquid metal treatment needed. Advantages compared to machining from solid stock. Higher production rates, less waste, greater strength, favorable grain orientation in metal. Some weaknesses of forging are defects, die failure, and machining is usually often required to achieve accuracies and features needed such as holes or threads. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes out to Dr. Park. The materials used in this video were from ENMF417.